welcome to the graduation party of of the students of Judea Fashion Hub. So, so right now we are going to do an opening prayer by the owner of the fashion house, which is um, Judea Fashion Hub. Please put your hands together for her. In Jesus' name. So right now we have a wonderful opening prayer by Chidera. Chidera, God and she woman of God. woman of God. So right now we're starting with the graduating student of Chidera Fashion Hub. This is one of them. Please tell us your name. What's your name? I'm blessed by name. I'm a student of Chidera Fashion Hub. My name is Onmebu Chomachi. I'm a graduate of Fashion Hub already. Okay, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Let's look at students now. Eh? Look at. Can your students ever? Are you seeing this? Am I the only one seeing this? <laughs> okay, please introduce yourself, please. My name is Alvarez and Machide Majoy. I'm a graduate of Jidera Fashion Hub already. Wow, congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> My name is uh, Mesrike Ogechi. And I'm a student of Jidera Fashion Hub. Thank you, thank you. Hey. Yeah. Please put your hands together for this baby. <laughs> this, is one, this is one of our graduate students. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hello. 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 <laughs> okay, so that's all for the introduction. Right now, we'll be inviting the wonderful, the, the meticulous, in fact, the amiable, <laughs> the teacher, the owner of Tudera Fashion Hub. She will be presenting the certificate to the students. Please stay tuned. Okay, right now, I want to award the certificate that I'm holding here to the students. All right, so the first person I have here is um, Ubois Mba Blessing, you. Okay, congratulations to our one and only Ugwe Zumba, blessing you. Congratulations. Please put your hands together for her. It's not easy. It's not easy. Blush now. Uh -uh. Wow, you, you really deserve this certificate. <laughs> you did well, you deserve it. So the next is um Wow. I like what I'm seeing. That's why I'm Wow. I, I really love what I'm seeing. But Nina, did you keep your ass at home? What's <laughs> it, what is happening here? <laughs> the last but not the least. And the last but not the least, yeah. On the memo, Chile Cherem Buchoma Joy. The one and only lady on suits. Hey, Wahala. This is a problem. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. We'll be moving over to calling most of the contestants to come and show us their, their beautiful dance step. If you don't know how to dance, don't come out here, please.
Hi, How Judara. You? Hello. How are you feeling today? Wow. I feel so excited, Sha. I'm so happy. Though it comes with... Uh, at first, I had like anxiety because of the planning, but I'm relaxed now. So now that you've sent you've sent forth your students yeah. into the fashion industry, do you think you represented your brand very well? Of course, I did. And do you think they will carry on your legacy as yeah. well? Sure, Build they their own. Sure, they will. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, so we'll be meeting with the latest graduating students to know what they have in mind, and we're going to be asking few entertaining questions so that they can answer us starting with um blessing blessing, yeah. blessing. so you're going to pass the microphone your outfit did you buy it or you made it i saw it now really yeah and if i want this kind of outfit how much will that cost me like this material now they sold it at one yard at one year at 18k so actually if you want to make this kind of dress it will cost like 40 something dollars because i will also take my own charges oh my god yeah. you're a rich lady already <laughs> <laughs> you made your outfit right yeah i made it what's the name of this material blazer or suit the material okay crepe crepe, crepe material okay and if someone wants exactly what you're putting on how much would that cost it will cost almost at five thousand be specific you said almost 35. That's 5,000. On the dots? Yeah. Nothing less, nothing more. Yeah. Your dress is lovely. Thank you. What's the name of your material? Crepe. Crepe material, crepe material. Yes. Wow. I thought this is, um, what's it called? Um, what's that light one? Vintage. No, the other one. Um, uh, is usually, Gorgeous. ladies wear it often. Um, I can't remember it again, but don't worry. If someone wants exactly what you're putting on, what would that cost? It will cost 40. 40,000 naira. Yes. Plus the materials. Yes. You're looking fabulous. Thank you. So what's the name of your material? This is called lace. Why this velvet? And what's the style called? This uh, cup corset. Okay. What of that? The wings there. <laughs> it's arc. Act. Okay, it's not called wings, it's act. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Really, I'm learning a lot today. <laughs> Please. So, back to what I was asking you. Uh -huh. If someone wants exactly what you're putting on, how much will that cost? Uh, with the with the fabric, it yeah. will cost the person 50k. 50,000 naira yes. in this economy? Yeah. Okay. Rich ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Very rich ladies. Okay, your entire journey took you how long? Entire journey? As okay, nine months. Nine months. Yeah. Okay. Six months. Six months. Six months. Six months. Were you in the industry? Were you in the industry before you joined the Judera Fashion yeah. Hub? You started from the scratch. Six months. Yeah. How many outfits can you make on your own without supervision? What kind of outfits rather can you make on your own without supervision? I can make um, blazer. This one I'm wearing. Okay. Cup corset. Like this. Yeah, like this. Okay. Victoria Corset. Mm. There is no sample for that one. Yeah, it's not here. Okay. Uh, crop call, um, crop top. So many. I said um, many. Of them. I can make cup corset, Victoria corset. Okay. Bubu gown. Oh. Uh, a lot of. I like bubu uh, gown. Suit and the suit. Uh, we call it blazer. Okay. But old age, they call it suit and coat. Okay. Our own is blazer. <laughs> All right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I can make a um, double gown, suits, a uh, top corset. I can make two piece, a uh, kimono jacket, wow. and so on. Many dresses. Okay. During your journey here at Judera Fashion, was there ever a time you felt like you wanted to give up? Mm, yes. At what point was that and why? Uh, the point was when I was making uh, my own suits. Okay. It was like, the journey was very very hard for me to continue because i have calculated it uh, from first month second month uh, nothing uh, was uh, that difficult for me but the blazer was ah it was not giving at all it's so shaggy <laughs> so shaggy while making the uh, the blazer but i thank god i completed everything no yeah no issue nothing nothing we thank god for you and we're happy for you thank you <laughs> yes at the deadline at where? Deadline. Okay. We are about to graduate. So okay. 
my my blazer. It stressed me a lot. So <laughs> I nearly give up. I cry. <laughs> I cry. Really? So, so in clothes can make you cry. <laughs> I cry. If I'm sleeping, I'm dreaming about <laughs> it. But I really thank God because it's not by my power. It's by his grace. So I really appreciate God for everything. At the end, I really thank God. God for came it. through for you yes. and you are here today. Yes. yes. The time I start um I start at the there for Shanho. Yeah. And it took me like two weeks. I wanted to give up because I wasn't understanding anything. So okay. at the time I, I thought I would stop. Okay. I thought I would stop, but thank God I didn't stop. So you can say that Judea Fashion Hub did well for you. Yeah, she did well for me. You can really beat your chest and say she did well for yeah, you. Yeah, she did. And you can create your own legacy. Yeah, I can. And you can carry on with her own legacy as well. Yes. Can you say the same thing? Yes. Can you say the same thing? Yes. Wow. So who inspired you into fashion? Who did you look up to? Who did you see and you said to yourself, okay, I want to go into fashion line? I I woke up and said, I, that's what I'll do. Okay, it came to you yeah, naturally. Me, yeah. You never knew anybody in the industry that you admired. I knew like um, agents. <laughs> <laughs> the job looked easy, right? But when you got into the job, you realized that it was <laughs> the data. Judera, yes. oh my god, I was going through her post. I was like, ah, I can do this, I can learn it. So I started to put interest so that I'll continue with her with Judera. So I'm really happy that I came out with what I, I went there to do. I really appreciate her because without her posting, I would have I would not even have an idea of coming up with this. So, so in really other words, you're, you're trying to say that we should be more visible. Yes. We should create more visibility than we think we have yes. already. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So who inspired you in the fashion industry? Mm, actually, nobody. Okay. Yeah. I Interesting. Started, yeah. I started when I was little. Wow. The fashion something was on my head. That okay. Even when I, uh, the first place, when I wanted to learn the fashion, but there was no money at that time, like 215. That was when I wanted to start. But there was no money, nothing, nothing. I just, uh, but the, uh, by the grace of God, God made it possible for me to be here today being a graduate from Judera Fashion Hub. It was very, very difficult, but in everything we thank God. Because actually, when uh, I wanted to come into the fashion something, I was coming up to all the way from World Bank. Uh, World Bank. I was saying the, uh, the transfer was much, but I did not calculate the transfer. Because I was looking something yes. into the fashion uh, uh, world. Yes. I was looking at that, that fashion things, that clothes even. Sometimes when I'll be uh, scrolling uh, on Facebook, I'll be seeing clothes. There are, there are many clothes that will be inspiring me. That I will say yes, let me try. I know that uh, one day that will be a graduate like others. Okay. That will be showing like others. I thank God for that. And here you are today. So what do you have to say to people who want to learn? For those who want to learn about fashion, uh, many, many people I think that uh, the fashion is very very hard. But when, once you came into it, it, it doesn't look that hard. But outside it, uh, it looks hard. But for those who want to uh, come into the fashion, they should try. If that, uh, that is their dream, if that, uh, that is what they are having to uh, to be, they should uh, go into it. So in a year time from now, where do you see yourself? Do you think you'll be making the waves? Yes. Good. I want to tell them that <clears throat> those that have interest in want to become a fashion designer, they should put more effort. Exactly. Because I... They should put more effort because I nearly give up. What do you have to tell other people who want to be like you right now? I want to tell them they should try and be like me, like know how to sew. I know it's not easy, but they should try. In 18 months' time from now, where do you see yourself? 18 months' time. Yes. Where do you see yourself? I see myself in a shop, in a big shop, like where we stay and be on my own shop. Okay, you think wow. in 18 months time you started making good names yes. for yourself. Okay, thank you very much. It's been a wonderful time with all of you. And I am wishing all of you well. Thank you. I'll be closing out this video here. I hope you enjoyed every bit of this event. Do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Deborah Sinforza on YouTube. 
follow Judera Fashion Hub on Facebook at Judera Fashion Hub. I'm going to be leaving the handles on the screen. And before I forget, my outfit is proudly sponsored by Judera Fashion Hub. So if you like what I'm putting on and you want to appear in something like this or even better, please rush to her page, hit her up, contact her, contract her and you will get exactly this or even better. All right. Thank you so much and peace out.